The NSABB, or the National Science Advisory Board for Biosecurity, was formed in 2004 to advise the US government on biosecurity and dual-use research. The board has up to 25 voting members with a broad range of expertise. The benefit of this approach to science advice is that it centers the advice in a single body, and it could potentially allow the systematic treatment of dual-use dilemmas on a countrywide basis, thereby avoiding the difficulties of different resources and standards between different universities and other research institutions. Now, in practice, it's probably fair to say the NSABB has been marred by controversy. In one instance, it recommended the censorship of the methodology of two papers on the H5N1 flu virus, leading to an outcry from scientists. The WHO then organized a meeting that recommended that the papers should be published in full, and the NSABB was asked by the US government to reconsider publication in light of revisions and new information presented by the researchers. The committee then revised its position and voted in favor of publishing the papers. But whilst the vote was unanimous for one paper, for the second, the vote was only 12 to 6 in favour of publication. Several members of the board revealed that they had ongoing concerns about the paper and suggested there may be vested interest in having the paper published. This has raised questions about the NSABB's process, potential vested interest and transparency for decision making.